Here's an introduction to Netlify's example website for advanced caching. It is based on the Astro Storefront open source template developed by the Astro team. In our version, we have added a large product catalog of 10,000 fashion products. We stored this catalog in Terso, a managed LibSQL database that has a strong integration with Astro. The website uses the Netlify adapter for Astro and is configured so that by default, all pages are generated on the server as they are needed rather than being statically built. When a page is built, the server is setting a response header, instructing the CDN to cache that page for one day. The header values also enable us to use stale while revalidate and durable cache for the page. This means that when a page becomes stale, there is a period of one hour in which the first request for the page would return the cached copy while rebuilding the page in the background. Netlify's durable cache ensures that this rebuilding would only need to happen once across all our CDN locations. But what happens when a product gets updated or removed, or when a new product collection is added? Do visitors need to wait up to a day to see these updates? The example site is tackling this problem by using cache tags, an advanced CDN feature. When rendering a page, you can set any number of string tags to associate with that page in a dedicated response header. Later, you can call the purge API endpoint to invalidate a specific tag or multiple tags at once. You don't need to know which pages have been cached with these tags. Here's how this works for the example website. All pages include the cache tag response header. The list of tags can represent a product ID, a collection ID, or anything else the developer decides on. As long as the cache tags are valid, the CDN can serve the same cache content, which is very fast. Now, let's update a product name and see what happens. Let's copy the product name and paste it into the search. Then, we click the Add Pokemon button to have a random Pokemon name added to the product name. Now let's go back to the page and see what happens after a refresh. And look at that, we have a whole new page with updated content. Now how does that work? When a change is made, whether it's new content, updated, or deleted content, the system makes sure to record the timestamp of the change in the database. Then, the code triggers what we call a revalidation job. This is a function that detects any changes made in the database since the previous time that job was run. If there are changes, the code calculates which cache tags need to be purged and calls the Netlify API to purge them. The revalidation job is triggered immediately on UI changes, but it can also be triggered via an API with a valid authentication token. It seems like no changes were found this time. In the example site, a Netlify scheduled function is invoked every 15 minutes and calls the revalidation API to make sure there are no changes that require cache tags to be purged. This takes care of any other situation where the database might need to be updated. And you can find the logs for the scheduled function in the Netlify UI. Finally, the Revalidate API endpoint also supports GET requests, which return the status of the last job. Monitoring systems can use that output to check that everything works as intended. The example website does all that with minimal dependencies and moving parts based on the power of platform primitives. For more details and what considerations you should take to match your needs, see our guides on developers.netlify.com.